what's going on guys in this video i'm going to show you everything you need to have your food truck up and running in the city of houston or harris county there's about nine steps i'll say about 10 steps or less and if you do everything in those steps you will pass inspection and could pretty much start I'm going to go from 1 to 10. I'm going to try to do this quick. It's going to be kind of a long video because there's a lot of things you need to do. I won't go to, into uh, too much detail, but if you have any questions about it, just leave a comment and I'll answer. First of all, I want to say I, I know this because I've gone through this process. And the first step to it is kind of obvious. You need to find a food truck or food trailer uh, you could get one for twenty thousand dollars or less i've seen people get one for fifteen five thousand ten thousand it all depends on the condition of it of course and you want to make sure it's the registration is good all right for for the second step you want to get a dba which is you're going to file your name in the county clerk's office uh, and that would be one of these doesn't matter which one and for that you could go to this website i'm going to leave everything in the description below all the links here you can search for the name. Or here you could put hap, ha, happy. You submit and you could check if it's available. After that, you're gonna fill out this. Once it's all done, then you take it here. So that's step number two, file your business name. For step number three, you're gonna have to get the sales tax permit in Texas. And this is very, very important. So um, this link is gonna take you right here. All you gotta do is sign up. You'll get the, the permit in about two to three weeks, but also you get the I think it's the ID number or something like that and you can use that in case it doesn't arrive soon also if you need help with this you could leave a comment or I could even make another video showing how to sign up for the Texas tax sale permit and make sure you don't pay this is free but I know a lot of people pay 200 300 for it for step number four, you're going to have to find the location. Again, don't overpay for a spot. You should be able to get one for 800 and under. Anything over about 1000 or up, it better be a great location. But besides that, there's no need to pay a lot. But once you find the location, you're going to have to sign a property letter agreement with you and the owner of the of the store or wherever you're going to be at and the restroom basically and that's going to be let me show you it's going to be this you're going to print this out fill it out you're going to print this out fill it out this basically means that since you're running a business, food, in case you need to go to a restroom, there's some there's a place for them to go. Once you get that done, we're in the fifth step. It's gonna be get your manager certification. And you're gonna need it right away also. So you could do this online or you could go to in person. This is the address, 
and and person it's gonna be about four I want to say 40 bucks I'm not too sure if you take it online it's gonna be 35 you're gonna get the the Texas men food manager certification and then you're gonna have to take it uh, to this address again because they're gonna turn it into the Houston one so you get your Texas food manager certification you take it here and you're gonna pay again about 40 bucks they're gonna give you the permit for the Houston one and it must be done for the sixth step we're almost finished you can determine what needs to be done in your food truck for the food inspection you gotta make sure everything's up to date you gotta make sure it has three sinks etc everything you need is gonna be on over here it goes into detail and if your food truck is brand new you're gonna have to submit some plans at this address if your food truck has been used but not in the city of Houston you're gonna have to submit plans if your food truck is used and it's already and the city of Houston already has the plans then you're good basically what it's gonna be it's gonna be like a change of owner something like that and then for the final step so if you've done everything I stated from step one to six you're pretty much ready to take it to the further inspection and that's like the final step before you can start selling so first you want to make sure your food truck is clean and one trick and you, one trick you could do is put Clorox uh, inside the water tank because a lot of times they don't pass inspection because they're little you know dirty bacteria so if you put Clorox you it's gonna clean that off you would be good to go so clean it do that little trick and you're gonna have to take it to the commissary before the inspection day because you're gonna have to take that ticket if you don't take that ticket they're gonna send you back you're gonna have to make the appointment oh yeah I forgot about that you gotta make your appointment you cannot just show up you gotta call I think they do Tuesdays and Thursdays but just call is this is the address we're gonna go for inspection you're gonna have to call where's the they gotta have a number somewhere here okay so you're gonna take it right there and I'm gonna tell you right now we have to take so you're gonna take your commissary ticket you're gonna take a property and restroom letter agreement the one I talked about before I forgot to talk about this one but you're gonna have to sign not sign you're gonna have to fill this out the menu disclosure basically saying what you're gonna make what you're gonna sell the food inspector is gonna go over this so it's important to put in all the details okay so you're gonna take that document uh, you're gonna take a list of locations basically saying where you're going to be operating at what day what time around there you're going to take your sales tax permit you're going to take your driver's license you're going to take full uh, proof of insurance whether it's from the food truck or the food trailer if you're using a truck you're going to need an insurance just to show them and you're gonna need your food manager certification and if you're gonna use the gas tank 
you're gonna have to get the permit. It's it's here. Where is it at? Uh, it's somewhere in here, but that's basically a permit with the fire department. If you're not going to use the gas tank, then you don't need that. But you are going to need the proper fire extinguisher, whether you use it or not. And then you're going to have to take this. This is the knowledge of agreement, basically stating that, oh, I know what I have to do. If I don't do this, I could get fined, etc., etc. And that's all the steps you need. If, if you do all that, you'll be good. And one more time, I'll tell you what paperwork you need. You're going to need your commissary ticket the day before, property and restroom letter that I showed, the menu, the list of locations, your sales tax permit, license, proof of insurance, food manager certification, the proper fire extinguisher, you're going to need your knowledge of agreement letter, your little gas, I forgot what it's called, the little gas thing letter agreement with the fire department, and you should be good also. If you're going to have an employee, you're going to have to fill out this form. And they're going to have to get a, they don't have to get the food manager certification, but they could get the food handler. But if they get that, they cannot be in the food truck by themselves because food manager always has to be present at any time the food truck is open. So if it's the food truck is open, food manager has to be there 100% of the time. And that would basically be it. So the the commissary ticket is about 16 bucks, depending where you go. There's a lot of locations. Uh, the food manager certification, you're going to, it's going to be about $90. If you take it in person, it's going to be about 40 Overall, with the permits, everything, it's going to come down to about 1300 1400 And one important thing to know is you're going to have to take your food truck every single day to the commissary that you operate the food truck. So if you take it every day, you're going to have to go pay 16 bucks, clean the food truck, uh, take out the dirty water, put in fresh one. And that's basically it. If you got any questions, please leave a comment. And thank you for watching.